A federal high court sitting in Abuja on the capital of Ogun State has nullified the candidature of the African Democratic Congress governorship candidate in the 2023 election, as well as the party state assembly candidate, saying that the primary election which produced Otegbeye and the state assembly candidates did not comply with the provisions of the Electoral Act. It will be recalled that the Labour Party in the state had approached the court asking the court to compel the Independent National Electoral Commission not to recognize the governorship candidate and others the court presided over by Justice Akin Tayo Aluko have found that the primary election which produced Otegbeye and others did not comply with the Electoral Act. While the Council to the Labour Party commended the judgment, the Council to the ADC candidate said that they may be compelled to appeal the judgment. Uh, well, the court has given judgment and it's no wisdom and uh, it has found in favour of the plaintiff. As you know, uh, this is a contest. One way or the other, it has to go you know, the way it goes. But that's not the end of the case. We have applied and we have indicated to the courts that uh, it will be very, very uh, interested in having access to the judgment as quick as possible with a view to sit down and, you know, analyze the judgment with a view of, uh, you know, taking further step in respect of the judgment. What are those steps you want to take? What yeah. step you want to take? As you know, here in Nigeria and uh, constitutionally, every Nigeria and every party before the court whose uh, judgment has been uh, uh, given against has the right, constitutional right, you know, to approach the higher court and to ventilate uh, his grievances. There are some areas which we feel we disagree with the, uh, the judgment of his lordship that we intend to exploit before the court of appeal. What was that? First and foremost, we came to court to ch challenge the decision of INEC recognizing the name of the governorship candidate of ADC among other names of candidates that emerged or that was uh, published in their final list that was published on the first of November, sorry, October this uh, this year. So we came to court to say, well, these people they didn't conduct any valid primary. From the information available to us, they conducted the primary, they purported the primary on the fourth, on the twelfth, and the notice they gave to INEC was on the fifteenth of the same month, which made three days after they have purportedly conducted their primary. And we said it cannot be valid in the eye of the law in the view of section eighty four and eighty seven of the electoral act.